I was always interested in the future, as far back as I can remember. I drew airplanes in cities of the future and underwater cities and floating cities. Now, this looks like some sort of submerged stadium with something. We might build circular cities in the sea. Most of the apartment houses will open out into the sea. You can observe marine life and fish swimming by. There'll be no zoos, no sequariums. Everything will be observed in natural conditions. There will be boating, scuba diving, recreation, and universities built in the sea. These drawings all made by you? Yes. Jacques Fresco is a self-taught scientist, architect, and inventor. For his entire life, he has been deeply committed to investigation, insight, and innovation. A prolific creator and builder, Jacques has been redesigning our entire culture for most of his life. Jacques Fresco doesn't want to just talk about what today will be like tomorrow. He has a plan to build an entire new world from the ground up. So the models that I make are all transitional. And many of them are only conceptual. They're not necessarily what the future might look like. They're only, well, let's say they're extrapolations of taking the present and extrapolating forward. But we can't go too far forward because we don't know uh, what new things will come into being. betting that people will not declare war on each other so that you, you can get at building all of this? Well, we don't have much choice. We're going to destroy each other or we're going to make it. When you try to think about the future, remember this. The process with which you think about things is based upon indoctrination, what you're given by your society. So your range of thought is limited by the dominant values of your society. We talk about civilization as though it's a static state, right. and there are no civilized people yet. It's a process that's constantly going on. As long as you have war, police, prisons, crime, you're in the early stages of civilization, what they call civilization. All the marvels and wonders of technology can amount to nothing unless it elevates humans to their highest potential. This is the aim of the future by design.